Oh man, I can't wait to try out this new deck. Wait, where did my deck go? Why did it end up down here? That's right, strap in, because today we're going through how does Magic Arena decide how to order the decks in the deck list? Before we begin, it would be amazing of you if you could leave this video a like, consider leaving me your subscription, but with that, let's jump straight into this. Right, let's start with the obvious. We want more recently played decks first, because those are more recently played, and we want decks that have just been created or edited at the top of the list as well. Now, thankfully, these don't compete with each other because you can either play or edit a deck. You can't do it at the same time. So we'll just say order decks in the order of most recently played or most recently edited. And you can, in fact, do this with the same timestamp in the underlying database. We'll call the timestamp recently touched, and we'll just have the system update the recently touched value with the current timestamp when the deck is played or when the deck is edited. But of course, not when the deck is opened, but not edited. If I open up Mono White Life Gain here, click OK, that's not going to move. Fine. Now we're going to ignore format because formats are stinky and everyone plays standard anyway. And then we have two main bins. We have favourites, which are these starred ones up here, and we have non-favourites down here. And within these two bins, the decks are going to be arranged based on their touched timestamp. Now, if you want to move a deck from one bin to the other, that's easy. You just click the favourite button. So if I take Rakdos Historic down here and I favourite it, it's now going to be in my favourites. But wait, why is it not now at the top of the list of favourites? And when I unfavourite it, why does it return to the middle of the unfavourited list? Well, that's because favouriting and unfavouriting doesn't touch the deck, so it slots into its place in that bucket depending on when it was last touched still. Totally obvious, really. And that's basically it for how you order these decks. Oh... There is a little bit more to it than that, isn't there? Okay, so how is this working then? So we've got a deck down here which is clearly separate from the first two bins that we talked about, and it's clearly because I don't have all of these cards crafted. I have some of these cards that aren't mine. And that seems straightforward, okay? So we're going to create a deck and it's going to be a mixture of cards that we have and cards that we don't have. So we're just going to add a bunch of cards to this. Uh, we're going to select a format, standard. Everyone plays standard, right? And then we're going to go and uh, add some cards that we don't have. So uh, let's just add some cards that we don't have, okay. Cool, great. Wait a minute, this now appears at the top of the list, and it has a different symbol. Aha! It's because I can craft these, but I cannot craft this one. This is because in this deck I'm missing, uh, what am I missing, four? I'm missing six rares, and I only have five rares. So that makes sense. Okay, so, so decks where you don't have all of the cards, but you could craft all of the cards, appear in the main body, and if we edit is it tempo, we'll see that... Yes, so it's just ordered by the touch date, but decks where you don't own all the cards and you don't have the wild cards to craft them are in a separate bin. Okay, so this makes sense so far, right? Because you have decks where you don't have the wild cards to craft them, just keep them at the bottom of the list, because you don't have the cards to craft them, so keep them out of the way. Decks that you do have the cards to craft, those can just stay in the middle of the list. Although I would point out that it does mean that if you do then craft some of your decks and that causes other decks in the list to now not have the necessary wild cards to be able to craft, those will then move into a different bin as you run out of wild cards, so your decks will move around between these two bins. But there are other reasons why a deck could be invalid, of course. It could have cards which are banned, so let's create a banned card. Uh, everyone's favourite banned card is, of course, the Cauldron Familiar. 
in standard at least anyway. So let's just grab a Cauldron Familiar here and we're going to make up a deck. There's our deck. And it is an illegal deck. Ah, oh, this has another different symbol. I wonder if this is in the same bin though. So let's have a look. If I take out an Eliminate and I add another Skyclave Shade, this deck has now been touched. No, so this is now another bin. Decks that contain illegal cards. Now let's just do a quick check that you can actually order decks within these bins as well. So if I go ahead and clone these decks, and I make an edit. So now illegal is at the top of the illegal bin. And my imported deck seven is now at the top of the not enough wildcards bin. So these are two bins that also within the bins operate on the most recently touched policy. So here's the next question. What if you have a deck where you don't have enough wild cards to craft all of the cards, but the deck also contains illegal cards? Which bin will that then be put into? So let's go and clone this deck. We are going to open it up. So it's not enough wild cards and illegal. We need to change the format of this one because this is historic and we're going to just turn it into a standard deck and there we go. I mean, things like Thoughtseize, not legal in standard. Uh, just to make it clear though, let's add Cauldron Familiar as well because it's everyone's favourite banned card. Uh, yeah, we'll save that and add that to our collection. And that has appeared in illegal. So if a deck has illegal cards, that will take precedence over a deck not having enough wild cards to be able to be crafted, even if the deck itself is legal. Okay, okay, okay. So this, you know, it does make sense. And we're probably getting to the bottom of the barrel on this one. Um, there are other ways a deck can be illegal, of course. You could have an illegal deck that just doesn't have enough cards in it, for example. So let's just try that out and make a deck of, say, eight cards. You know, standard deck, everyone plays standard. Okay, yep, that's fine. 32 card deck, why not? Oh, wait a minute, no, we've got another, we've got another symbol here. Not enough cards. So this is a fifth bin that your decks can go into. Um, let's just quickly run through the usual check, so not enough cards, part two, that's fine. Let's edit not enough cards. Um, just take out a couple of those, add a couple of Defiant Strikes, okay, and not enough cards goes to the top of the bin. So inside the fifth bin, the not enough cards to make a legal deck, different from the has cards which make it an illegal deck, the regular rule of the date that the deck was last touched still applies, although obviously it can now only be touched by being edited, not touched by being played. So, okay, fifth bin, it obeys the same rules as the other bins though. But wait, I hear you say, what happens if you follow the rules of the previous two bins, but then also don't have enough cards to make them legal decks? So what if you don't just not have enough cards, but what if you're also using banned cards? Or what if you not only don't have enough cards, but you don't have enough wild cards? to make it a legal deck? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Let's go and find out. So we'll take illegal number two here and we're just gonna, we're just gonna edit this straight up because we know how this works now. So illegal two and we're just gonna take out uh, four of those cards and now it doesn't have uh, enough cards. So illegal two and not enough. And that ended up in the fifth bin. So yes, okay, that makes sense. So the, the fifth bin seems to take precedence. So let's uh, try that again with, uh, with 
not enough wilds here. So again, if I just uh, take out a couple of gutter bones so it's not a valid deck now and we click OK, will this also end up in the fifth bin? Yes, it will also end up in the fifth bin. So actually, the fifth bin takes priority over the previous two bins. It will check first whether you don't have enough cards in the deck before checking the legality of the cards and before checking whether you have the wild cards that you could craft the deck if you wanted to. But this has to be it, right? Because we've gone through uh, normals, we've gone through decks that contain illegal cards, decks without enough wild cards and illegal cards, decks that contain illegal cards and not enough cards, decks where you don't have enough wild cards to be able to craft the cards. This is all the combinations, yeah? Well, you'd think that, but actually, we haven't favorited any of these decks yet. And let's just go and favorite these right now. So if, if you go and favorite these, they're all going to end up in the favorites section. So actually, we're going to check whether it's a favorite first, then check all of the other things. So all of the logic is actually replicated within the supersets of is it a favorite or not. So that is the highest level. And I'm pretty sure if we go and edit one of these decks, the bins are still going to behave as the bins should. It's put, it's left these in the same order and it's also put these to the bottom of the favorites list despite the fact that a lot of these have been edited most recently. So this behavior is consistent, it's just it's replicated in the favorite section of the application. And that, my friends, really is going to wrap it up for how Arena decides to organize these decks for you. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey of discovery. I now feel like I understand more about how this system organizes the decks than I ever would have wanted to know, in honesty. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, leave me a like and consider giving me your subscription. It helps the channel out a lot. As ever, thank you very much for listening and we'll talk soon.